Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be learning about the following uh, handling of events. There are three types of handling of events, element uh, triggering event, image triggering event and system triggering event. Okay, so we'll be looking at each of these and under these also some categories are there which I'll be discussing with the examples. Okay, so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this. Okay, so uh, let's get started. The first one is element triggering event. Okay, so for all the events uh, the first thing what you have to uh, type here is the monitor event okay trigger scope also known as trigger scope you have to write it here and whenever a trigger happens some action will happen okay so what is the triggering uh, trigger happening that we will look one by one the first uh, type of trigger is the click trigger okay let's add the click uh, trigger here whenever the click trigger happens and it will ask me uh, what uh, button is pressed and where it is pressed okay which button is pressed whether it is the mouse button left mouse button right or mouse button middle or uh, and uh, where it is clicked that also I have to indicate okay so whenever this happens and it is true at that time some activity should happen here so I should get notified about it right so we'll add a simple message box which says hello okay whenever this happens it will be outputting a message box which says hello and uh, means uh, that will um, indicate us that the activity has happened okay so we'll be writing this one done now we'll be indicating on screen where it is so for that I have already opened a Google Chrome this example I'm taking what I will do is I'll indicate this one whenever I click on Google search it will uh, trigger me that event and the action will happen and the message box will output hello okay so let's have a look at that so I'll be in, uh, indicating the element on screen whenever I click uh, Google search here at that time what should happen it should uh, go to the message box here and it should output hello okay if this is true then only this will happen and the action happens only when the trigger becomes true okay so let's uh, go and run the file wait till the um, UI path orchestrator comes and when it comes then only we'll be able to perform whatever the activity you have to perform okay now it's running now I'll be performing this activity I'll be clicking on this one and wait now what it said it said hello okay this will happen as long as the program runs and the program runs as long as we did not stop it explicitly okay so no matter how many times I click it it will always show me hello okay then you got the concept right so that's what about the click trigger okay now I'll be stopping this one let's move on to the next one which is the hotkey trigger okay we are done with the first one which is click trigger next is the key press trigger which is the hotkey we'll be taking an example of hotkey the action will be same whenever the trigger will happen the action remains same just we'll be changing the triggering uh, trigger options and we'll be seeing different types okay next one is the key press trigger okay so let's have a look at key press trigger what it does key press trigger means whenever a particular key is pressed also in a particular space so what I'll be doing is in this case I'll be going to the notepad and there I will be uh, pressing some key okay so uh, whatever the key I want I can press for example if I press enter okay enter key if I press that what should happen okay I'll be pressing the enter key in this uh, domain okay when I press enter key in this domain it will show me um, message as hello so let's run this uh, file and see uh, firstly, it will take me to the notepad and there I'll be um, pressing the key enter. Okay, so let's wait for the execution. Now I am in this one. Okay, when I have to click on enter, remember when this uh, thing is visible, it's visible now. So I'll come, I'll be coming here and I'm clicking enter. Okay, now watch it should trigger me, it should trigger me hello again. If I press enter again, it will trigger me hello. Done, got the concept. Let's move on to the next one. We are done with the first uh, topic. What's the first topic? Um, handling events and element triggering event. Okay, these two are done. Let's move to the next one, which is image triggering event. In image triggering event, we will be clicking an image and then whatever the action has to be performed, that's, that will be performed. In our case, whenever we click an image, it will output as hello. Okay, so let's uh, add the image trigger. Click image trigger. Okay, there you have to drag and drop into um activity okay then you have to indicate image on screen i've already downloaded an image which is the sunset image and it ha it has to be in the jpg format because webp was not working for me so anyways uh, for the better uh, be better be on the safer side just um download a jpg image and keep it with you okay now i'll be uh, showing you how to work with this one indicate image on screen when you click that you'll be able to select the image uh, how much ever uh, you want 
that should be acting as a place where you click then that uh, action should be triggered okay this is the part of the image which i if i click the action should be triggered so let's run this file and see when i run this file it should um, show me whenever i click that image at that time it should say hello okay so let's wait for the compilation compilation is done and for what we have to wait we have to wait for this orchestrator when the orchestrator comes then only will be proceeding further now the orchestrator has, the orchestrator has come now we are on this uh, particular image now if i click on this one it should show me hello fine it does show me hello if i click here also that was also part of the image it should show me hello then now i have a dot i also don't know i did not select this part of the image if i click what will happen nothing happens remember whatever you select that only if you click it will be taking place okay then uh, we are done with the image uh, trigger the last one is the system triggering event so let's have a look at these three and wind up the video system triggering event <coughs> for that i have to add the three which is the hotkey first i will uh, explain what is hotkey hotkey is same as the key press first i have to stop this one then only i will be able to delete this one and i'll be able to add here hotkey hotkey trigger fine okay done now hotkey trigger i'll drag and drop here now we are in which one what's the name system triggering event okay now hotkey whatever i press like for example if i press control t okay control t it will output me hello so you can't uh, see me where i am typing control t but believe me i'll be typing control t okay so you can also try this by yourself let us wait for the compilation and the visible of our orchestrator when the orchestrator comes i'll be typing control t okay now i'm typing control t it should show me hello then again i'm typing control t it should show me hello then okay got the concept next is what mouse trigger let's have a look at this one like that anything you can type like shift win and all everything whatever key you want okay you can try it by yourself let's move to the mouse trigger in mouse trigger you have how many options three options okay what are those three options three options is left button right button and middle button okay so since i'm not connected with the middle button mouse just uh, the touchpad i'm using so anyways i'll be explaining you the concept you can use whatever you want now see along with the mouse button i can also go with the combination like control plus button left and all i'll be just going simply with the button left and uh, telling you how it works so when i run this file wherever i click by using the left button if i click it would output me hello okay so i'll be clicking here first then here then where should i click shall i click here okay done i'll be clicking there only okay let the execution start and the green thing appear okay green thing has come now i'll be clicking here okay now what it's uh, showing me hello now next since i clicked hello ccc what's happening here it's showing me hello okay but uh, if i have to click okay then also i am clicking the left mouse button only right i am clicking okay i have clicked the left mouse button it is again showing me hello got the concept right like that only you can go with the last one as well see this will happen until i stop or it will keep on coming okay now what's the next one system trigger and system trigger both the things will happen uh, either you click the mouse or the uh, keyboard both events will happen okay so let's have a look at that just search here system trigger and quickly drop it here in the activity and just execute it in system trigger no matter what you do click any key or any mouse button it will show you what the action has to be triggered it will execute fine let's have a look at that and wind up this video so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so support helps me make uh, more videos so it started executing the green thing has not come come fast green thing okay green thing has come now what we will be doing is i'll be clicking first by mouse it's um, showing me hello done and now i'll be again it will show hello by because i've clicked okay anyways you got the point right if i click oh okay i'll be clicking oh a key still it shows me hello then you got the concept that's all for this video and make sure to like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one so i have to stop okay bye